Hi, it's uh, Nick from Digital Yacht with an update on a new Digital Yacht solution that we've got, integrating an ICOM VHF radio uh, together with one of our latest Class B Plus transponders. Now this is the ICOM M506, a really popular uh, AIS uh, VHF radio, so it incorporates a, an AIS receiver. Uh, but many users really want to have the transponder function so to both send and receive AIS data. Now the ICOM M506 operates uh, on an NMEA 2000 backbone, so it's a nice simple uh, universal interfacing arrangement based around CAN bus technology that allows devices just to plug in and out as necessary. So part of the solution is that we supply an NMEA 2000 starter kit with the package. So this is the backbone, uh, there's terminators at each end, uh, the system needs power so you connect power into here, again power cables supplied for that, and then each device then tees off the backbone to interface with each other. So one cable will go off to the ICOM, and one cable will go off to our AIT2500 transponder. Once you've done that, the two are interfaced together using NMEA2000 and other devices can then connect into the network as and when required. So let's take a quick look at our transponder. The AIT2500 is a Class B Plus product, so it's the latest SOTDMA technology, which gives you a more regular AIS update, a higher power output, 5 watts as opposed to 2 watts, uh, and also the technology and the way it transmits is akin to a Class A system, so it gives you a very reliable slot to transmit into. Um, the AIT2500 in this particular bundle is also supplied with our SPL2000 splitter. This is a patented zero-loss splitter that allows the VHF antenna that's in use with the ICOM M506 to be shared with the transponder. So it means you haven't got to fit an extra VHF antenna to your boat. Once the two are connected, the uh, ICOM M506 will continue to function using uh, AIS data that it gets from the transponder and you'll be able to see targets on the screen there. And you'll also be able to uh, create a VHF DSC call just by selecting the target on the VHF radio and sending a DSC message. So a nice bit of integration there. Now to take the whole package a little bit further, you can add our Navlink uh, NMEA2000 to Wi-Fi server. So what this does is it takes all the NMEA2000 data that's available on your boat's network, creates a Wi-Fi point on the boat, which tablets, mobile phones, iPads, and so on can connect to. And then there's a plethora of different apps that are available for both Android and iOS, giving you electronic charting, detailed electronic charts, and now with AIS and GPS data overlaid onto the top. So that's how a digital yacht solution can really improve your whole navigation experience using a simple package like this. Lots of details on our website. Thanks very much for listening.